The ultra-liberal Prime Minister of Canada has acknowledged that there is too much immigration to his nation and has called for it to be brought under control. Speaking to a crowd on Tuesday at a housing announcement in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, Justin Trudeau stated that the amount of temporary foreign workers entering the country has expanded at a rate that is far beyond what Canada has been able to absorb. The Prime Minister, who is well known for taking a liberal position on immigration, declared that it is necessary to bring under control the over threefold increase in temporary migrants living in Canada over the previous seven years. International students in particular, as well as temporary foreign workers, have grown at a rate far beyond what Canada has been able to absorb, Trudeau stated. For instance, 2% of Canada's population consisted of temporary immigrants in 2017. Currently, 7.5% of our population is made up of temporary immigrants. It is something we must regain control over. Our goal is to reduce those figures, Trudeau went on. This is a responsible immigration strategy that builds on our current base of permanent residents while holding the line on temporary immigration, which has put a great deal of strain on our communities. The number of people requesting asylum in Canada has increased by 130 percent, overflowing shelters and leaving officials juggling a $822 million catastrophe. The migrants are mostly Mexicans, Haitians, and other nationals. The overcrowding in shelter systems in Canadian cities such as Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, Vancouver, and others has forced the country's liberal government to take action to stop the migration of migrants north. Due to its geographic location, Canada sees fewer unauthorized border crossings than the U.S., although the number of people arriving by plane has increased, especially from Mexico. The overcrowding in shelter systems in Vancouver, Ottawa, and Montreal is making it more difficult for the homeless people to find housing. The administration of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has changed policies in response to the inflow. Mexico ranks as the primary source country for individuals applying for asylum in Canada, with Haiti, Turkey, India, and Colombia following closely behind. The surge of asylum seekers in Canada is concomitant with unprecedented population expansion, mostly due to the influx of foreign workers and international students. In less than 10 years, the number of foreign students in the nation has tripled to approximately 1 million. Trudeau's administration has had to temper its immigration goals in recent months due to frustration with housing shortages. It is limiting the quantity of permits for international study, among other things. Trudeau and U.S. President Joe Biden reached an agreement last year to sever a deal that had led to asylum seekers entering Canada from the U.S. at a spot known as Roxham Road. For many Mexican citizens, Trudeau's administration reinstated visa requirements in February. Asylum seekers and foreign nationals with temporary labor permits make up the group of temporary residents that Canada announced last month it intended to shrink. Asylum seekers occupy over 70% of the beds in Peel, a Toronto suburb, where the shelter system is operating at 300% capacity. Many more are reportedly camping on the streets. This Thursday, Brampton, Ontario, Mayor Patrick Brown declared, it's an ugly situation. We need to make sure that asylum seekers are not left abandoned, and frankly, what we've seen is too much of that, said the Canadian government, if it is going to permit more people to apply for asylum. According to Brown, roughly 80% of the population of Brampton was from five African nations, including Kenya and Nigeria. The overlapping wars and crises in other countries, the return to travel abroad following the pandemic, and Canada's expansion of the legal grounds for asylum claims have all contributed to the increase in numbers. Under pressure from Toronto Mayor Olivia Chow and Quebec Premier François Legault, Trudeau's administration made a $265 million, or roughly $360 million Canadian dollars, offer to provinces and cities in January. This was done in response to asylum seekers' extraordinary interim housing pressures. It claims that since 2017, it has sent over 750 million Canadian dollars to various governmental levels to assist with housing expenses associated with asylum. 
That comes to $822 million, or $1.1 billion Canadian dollars.